by talking about Trying, our, live show, our, our live show. Enthusiastic, energetic. <laughs> And one word. Energy. Only count so count to the Indian bronze out. So called honest as claim it ain't hot now. Even close to the level in the uphold. Yo, who so so only count so count to the Indian bronze out. So called honest as claim it ain't hot now. Even close to the level in the uphold. Yo, who so so. At the end of the day. The music's gonna speak, speak for itself. Yo. It's gonna speak for itself. From the first note to the last note, we just go in. And that's all there is. It's like I black out. You know, half the time, I don't even remember what happened from the time we started the show and then we ended. It's like everything just happened and then the show was over and people were like, yo, yo, that was live, that was great, y'all did a good show. And I was like, kind of the day still trying to catch myself. Those are the good shows when you go into a zone. And that zone is like, you don't even really know where you are, but everything is clicking and everything's happening in the way it's supposed to be. When we end the show, <coughs> we're just doing what we do and that's all it is to it. I weigh 135, 140 pounds. Y'all can catch me, because I'm jumping. <laughs> every day I feel inquisitive, listening to everybody's position in life. Who go is it depressed? How the man kill a man with the knife? But little did he know it was his boy laying the pipe to his wife. Why we can't ADD. I got musical ADD. <laughs> I don't like to do the same thing twice. <clears throat> I never, I hate it. I would rather not do a show than do the show, same show twice. Right now, you know, when we get on stage, we're rocking with like six or seven piece band. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With six or seven piece band um, going in, you're doing, you know, anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half of just raw music. Um, some of it instrumental, some of it with lyrics over top of it. You gotta showcase the, the players in the band because they're all, they deserve to be showcased because of the talent that they have. It's amazing. Um, I love listening to the band, aside from myself spitting over it. You know, I wanna sit back and listen to what they're doing because it's, it's a beautiful thing. I honestly think that we've come to shatter the perception that a rapper should fit in a box. This music sounds great, sonically it sounds great, the beats are awesome, the rhymes are hot. People know that every time we come out to do something, it's gonna be special. It's gonna be special. Citizen Kane spoke to me about as far as like my pursuit in music and also about why I pursue music. Um, we wrote a song inspired by this particular movie, kind of introduced the concept to Lou about what it's all about. And, um, we did a video to the song, it went on really, really well. Hope for Bob Marley Rose, Papa for the fact that what tomorrow holds, we hardly know. Papa for the fence, break up the party, cause some snotty folks wanna kill the joy and make a noise. Top of the morn, this is glitch one. Definitely our influences. Um, I think Lou would agree with, I mean, we're just extreme hip hop junkies, scholars of hip hop um, from way back, listeners of all kinds, pop on the ground, you know, commercial, whatever. We both have our individual taste and we have taste in hip hop that we both agree on. Um, 
So we're definitely scholars of hip hop, but that's not the be all end all to our musical taste at all. There's no face to this operation. It's uh, it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? In fact, you're the face of this operation. <laughs>